Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of MLB Family Feud. This one's brought to you by SeatGeek. I am not hosting today's video, as you know. Zoe hosts these alongside Jack and Jake, so I'm going to toss it over to him for the first question. Welcome back to another episode of Baseball Feud. Jack and Jake are here to compete. We have questions, some related to baseball, one not related to baseball. Let's get into it. First question, name the last five no-hitters. Now, combined no-hitters do not count. So last five pitchers. Do perfect games count as perfect no Perfect games do count. Good question. I will give Jack the first guess on this one. Page. I will go with Blanco from the Astros. Ronald Blanco is the last pitcher to throw a no-hitter. Good guess, Jack. You are on the board first. Uh, Not a ton job. of no-hitters yet this year. Or is it, am I still thinking I, I will provide tech? a hint. That is the only no-hitter yeah. that has yeah. been thrown this year. What yeah. he just said. Right. See, this is where things get sloppy because you feel like there's one or two towards the end of the season last year. I will go for points. There's probably one in between, but uh, Domingo German threw a perfect game. Domingo Herman is our number four wow. answer. He's the fourth most recent pitcher. I love the throw a no hitter. So much. And yeah. it was June twenty awesome. eighth, twenty twenty three. I feel like a, it was a top like two and three are guys that you don't think. Do it. Oh, no, no, no. Another Astro, Framber. Framber Valdez is our number three answer. Wow. August 1st against the Cleveland Guardians. The Astros won two to nothing, and Framber secured a no hitter. Hey, good memory on that one. That's the one I forgot. Jake, the board is yours. No X's. Fellas. I don't know. No hitter. Oh, can you believe it? He threw. No hitters are mid. Combi uh, by a starter, no, no. Combined, yes. I think if a. And I like when they the, have to be uh, ace. I agree. I if love why. If it's not an ace, I don't even like. It doesn't even get picked up by first take. See, this is going for the fifth one. Uh, Carlos Rodon. That is incorrect. Mm. I'm kind of going for the fifth one too. This feels like I've a safe drinking. one because he's done it. I think. I'll go Verlander. That is incorrect. Mm. Now, my first hint for you guys, because this is a very hard question, is neither of these guys are aces. And I feel like they're like weird teams too. Would That's you be open stage. to an ALNL hint? Oh, yeah. I'm open to that hint as well. There <laughs> is one NL, one AL. Okay. I will guess Zach Eflin. That is incorrect. Mm. Was it a Philly? Where I do you think you're going for this? I don't one? know. I think it was a Tiger, but I don't know his name. Ooh. Ah, I think they threw a team one. Uh, now Zozo. I think it was there. a white Tiger, one of the rarest animals. Scooble. Incorrect. Now, I will give you the hints. A couple hints here. One, I'm going to give you two separate hints. There was a Tigers combined no-hitter. Oh. So you were on the right track there. Reese Olsen. Matt Manning started it. Matt Manning started it. Now, your hint. Jake was in the right division on his last guest, which was Zach Eflin. It's an NL East team. And then the other team is an AL West team. So there's one pitcher who threw it in the NL East and one pitcher who threw it in the AL West. Just to clear ourselves from the YouTube record. Zach Eflin's now in the AL East. He's on Tampa. Oh, okay. I was thinking of him as a Philly. Yeah, me too. I think everyone does a little bit. The Mets are buns. Uh, I think it's a Philly. Oh, I have Philly. it. You have it yep. now. And you just said you think it's a Philly. Oh, um, I think it might be like a Met. <laughs> Could be a Marlin, I'm thinking. Good defense. That's great defense. Michael Lorenzen. Damn that it. is the number two answer. Michael Lorenzen, Lorenzen August 9th, 2023, against the Nationals. The Phillies won barely seven to a nothing. Philly. That's great. I mean, he was barely on the team. I blew it. You blew that. You blew you it. were about to pull off a great guess, yeah. but you got too excited about it. I got too it. big for my britches. It's okay. You got I, way too excited. I got too big for my Pritchard. <laughs> How about this? I will half help you. Seattle has a ton of good starters, but I don't. Know if they've thrown a no hitter? I feel like it's an angel. Ooh, like know who no threw one? No one would care. Reed Detmers. That sounds right. Det me. That's the number five answer. I hated what you guys just did with the other parts, <laughs> but that was a great teamwork there. Jack kind of got the Lorenzen one, yeah. and then Jake got the yeah, Detmers I mean the, one, but the, it bounced out. It's a point. The three point trade there. Yeah, yeah. Is great for worth you, it Jake. For me. Yeah. I mean, Jack, you finished around up nine to six. That was good. You guys got all five. I didn't think you were going to clear the board. Up. Nice the board. work. Took teamwork. All right, let's move on to our next question. Most playoff wins by a team mm. in the last fifteen years, and there is one bonus question, bonus point available this round. 
But Jake, you get to start us off this time. Now, this is tricky because 15 years what? is a lot. Yeah. Going back to 2009. Like, the Astros are buns for half of that. They've won a lot. I'm going to take a chance and go with the Dodgers. That's our number two answer. The Los Angeles Dodgers with 57 playoff wins. I, I'll go Dodgers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go Astros. Or our number one answer mm. with 62 playoff wins during that time period. You know what? <laughs> I don't know what, Jake. Can you share with the class? Going back to 2009, at the end of the day, I love that dirty water. Give me the Boston Red Sox. That is incorrect. Oh, because mm. they're ass face. Ouch. I'll go. I mean, we're kind of a, we're dueling. <laughs> I'll go Yankees. That is our number three answer. The New York Yankees what? with 42 playoff wins during that time period. Uh, Steinbrenner knew they were third. I'm going to go Piggly Wiggly again. Okay. Which is code for the San Francisco Giants. That is our number for answer, and this is my bonus, bonus question. Do the San Francisco Giants have more or less than 40 playoff wins since 2009? Okay, well, three World Series, so quick math on that. Other years, they weren't that good, though. That's the thing with the, the Giants, so I'll go no. That is correct. They have yeah. 38 playoff 38. wins, but by only far two rings. the highest three. winning well, oh, wait, percentage. Right? They got free rings. Oh, it was 2010, 12, and 14, and yeah. they have the highest winning percentage at 655 in the playoffs. Wow. 38 wins. Good job, Jake. Nice. I don't get to see this part of you a lot. <laughs> yeah. My thighs are very white. You're very pale. Yeah. You're that's, a pale man. That's Conan O'Brien pale. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> did you yeah. ever play soccer or anything with your legs? I, I did the normal thing. I did you played the service soccer to my till country. 11. Yeah. Okay. I thought your thighs were bigger. I'm not saying that in a rude way or like an HR way. Oh, when you fl- oh, okay. See, that looks better. I had a bad angle. I couldn't see any of that. Like that looks good. That's nice. Yeah, I mean this. I'm like just hanging. <laughs> What's going on? Um, I don't know. Phillies. Incorrect. Madness. I guess the Red Red Sox aren't on this, huh? They're fart bags. Uh, the Atlanta Braves. Incorrect. Dang. <laughs> It seems like winning one is important because the Giants won three. Astros have a couple. On my Yanks. Because no. 09 counts. Things. Yeah, 09, yeah. I'll go um, Cubs. That is incorrect. Ooh. Interesting. Fun guess, though. Oh, um, a team that, like, was consistently good, the St. Louis Cardinals. Are our number yeah. five okay. answer, and they are the only team on this list with a losing winning percentage. They had a 450 winning percentage uh. in their playoffs, 36 playoff wins. Good job, Jake. Hey, good round. That's yeah. one of those ones where you have to like kind of think of the mid-2010s to yeah. get to the Cardinals. That's most of the years. Yeah. yeah. Now, after that round, Jack still holds the lead by the same he entered with. 17, 14. Oh, hold okay. serve. Yeah. You held serve that round. You ever play tennis? I went to tennis camp when I was a child, and I tried to do the little Snoopy thing. You know, when you play with yourself. <laughs> I was playing with myself at tennis camp, <laughs> and I ran right into the pole unconscious. Wow. Yeah. Concussion or so, no? I don't know. They didn't know back then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got to quickly interrupt today's Family Feud episode to thank today's sponsor, which is SeatGeek. Right now, you can use promo code JMBASEBALL10 to get 10% off your order. That's not just for new customers. That's for any customer. If you've been a loyal SeatGeek customer like myself, you use the app for concerts, sporting events, whatever you can think of, and get tickets to, SeatGeek has the offer for you. And right now, this promo is sick. JM Baseball 10 is the promo code, 10% off. Use that to your advantage. Go to a ball game. Go see the Yankees. Go see the Mets. They're hot in the streets right now. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Now let's see what Zoe has next for Jack and Jake. The name of this category is Baseball Feuds. So we're going to do best baseball fights since 2000 from a random Clutch Points article I found. Jack, you get the first question. And there is a bonus question this round. Best baseball feuds since 2000. And since 2000. 2000 and that. We're going to figure out the list as we go because it's like right. the they're size gonna, of it or they're the They're going to have a craving they like. Yeah. It's going to be a, it's a learning experience. I'm going to have to go with the Batista Odor. That is our number one okay. answer. I think that is the most iconic is that like I barely a baseball fight? fight in my lifetime. It was like one punch, but it's the right. It's a big one. Okay. I'm going to have to go off of theme. And because the other one in my head, you're not, you wouldn't guess. I'm going to go Jose Ramirez, Tim Beckham. 
Oh, they remember is Tim Beck. Tim, or, Beckham? Tim Anderson? Tim Anderson. That is our number two answer. Okay. And the thing they both had in common is you had a clean punch. I don't know when this was. If you're thinking about it, it's probably past 2000. Because all the, all the ones that I found that were before 2000, I think Jake might have been able to get, but I was like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Jake's old ass. In a... I don't know who he fought. Is that an issue? If you give me enough details, I think we can work our way around it. Pedro versus Coach. Pedro versus Dom Zimmer is our number four answer. Wow, good, good pull. Yeah. yeah, I mean that was that was a big wow. Yeah. That's a big one. Because I mean, as fights go, I think that's above the other two we have on the list. Yeah, that one's because there was just like bodies everywhere. <laughs> it was a brawl. One of the best pitchers ever was fighting an old man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, I don't think there's much of a brawl, but I'll go name power here. Uh, Mike Piazza and Roger Clemens. That is incorrect. Okay. Mm. Okay. I went for names. Yeah, I'm trying to think breakdowns. Right. Like the biggest ones. I've got it. Like I've got those. <laughs> this isn't really a brawl. I don't know if this is the one you were thinking. The Veritech A-Rod. That is Ooh, our number three yes. answer. Okay. A-Rod yes. versus Veritech. Good pull, Jack. Wow. Uh, let me do one more lap. I'm just going to think of teams quick and see if there was, you know, a malice at the palace. Okay, so this this was one of the more popular breakdowns and one of the big ones. Um, it was like Yasiel Puig and the Reds versus the Pirates. That is our number yeah. five answer. Okay. So I had it as Amir Garrett yeah. versus the Pirates, but Amir Puig Garrett was well. also yeah. a big part of that. And that one is actually one of the crazier ones right. yeah. when it went down. Great job clearing the board. Hey. Now, oh, that, that was going to be my next guess. I did have a bonus question available, and I'm going to offer it to both of you. Wow. Okay. And so this is all specifically about me. What, in my opinion, is the dumbest off-field baseball fight we've had in the last five years? It was viral on social media. It involved teammates. If you guys remember, I don't know how to actually word this question in a way you can answer it. Papelbon choking? No. I have a guess. Go ahead. Jock Peterson fantasy football. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got there. So the the only thing. Not off, my best job. Off field, I was trying to get where you were getting to. Yeah. But there was a moment because he got slapped. He got slapped. Tommy Pham slapped him. Yeah. Slapped Before him. a game. <laughs> it's the craziest thing ever. Not the best question pose, but you got there anyways, Jake. Nice job. Now, Jack, you lead 27 to 20. Can you name the teams with the most division titles all time? Mm. It's like a Jake question at a good time for you. If there's a time to guess my New York Yankees, it's now. New York Yankees. Our number three answer. Oh. The New York Yankees. When's this from? Is this from the start of time? Is this 2000? Since the start of the divisional era in 1969. Okay. Prior to that, it was split into the AL, into NL, into right. two divisions Penance. each. Okay. So okay. Penance. So like We're good. 50 years. Hey, I would have guessed the Yankees either way. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this, but I think I like it. I'll go A's. Our number four answer. Good okay. guess, Jack. I have I have it between two. The two I'm thinking of are coin flips or corn flops. Those teams have been good. Um, I'm going to go Los Angeles Dodgers. That is our number two answer, Aye, the Los Dios Angeles mio. Dodgers. This is a big, this is a pivot point of the yeah, game. Yeah. 100%. Jack, you kind of need to need lock one. in here. Yeah. I'll give you a hint. You know this. You know of this team. Good hint. I forget a lot of them sometimes. <laughs> I'm le- the moment's getting to me. You, you feels like the spotlight turned up a little bit. You yeah. tell you tell me when you have a guess and it's not your official guess, and you get to judge my reaction. And at least. Aye! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> that's tough to read. That was tough that's to like read. I had to make a predetermined noise. No, that's, if I gave yeah. an actual reaction. Yeah. That was strong play by you, Jake. Because now I think he's more confused. That's just like a vague strike three call. <laughs> I'll guess the Phillies. That is incorrect, yeah. Jack. Jake, to you. There's gotta be a big one that I'm just blanking. I think you were close. Show me Atlanta Braves. Are our number one oh, answer, Jack. Wow. Had I loved your thought process of divisions and eliminating that. You were all over it. But the Atlanta that. Braves have 23 NL East titles, the most of any team in the division era. Now, I do have good news. Jake is up, but Jack, it's back to you, and you have a okay. chance to get a little momentum. Look at that around. board. I should get this one because there's not that many divisions left. Right. We got the NL East out of there. We got the NL West. NL Central gets hairy, but I feel like it's one of those. Show me the Reds. That is incorrect. I rushed it. You, 
You rushed, <laughs> I rushed it. You I, rushed, didn't, I didn't even check out the AL. You rushed a jumper. I rushed it. Uh, I'm going to go with my five pick from last round. I'm going to go St. Louis Cardinals. Jake, you are oh correct. Jack set the division up but just picked the wrong team, and that was a six-point swing in the wow. favor of Jake. Jake, you oh, exit like an, the round. Like S. Up by four after entering wow. down by seven. What Huge. A, whoa. Big yeah. Wow, wow. Our next question. Baseball was not in the Olympics this year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And if it was, I bet the answer to this question would be baseball. Right. But what are the top five Olympic sports to watch, according to this website I found called Talk Sports? <laughs> and is, is this summer and winter? Just summer. For the summer. upcoming. Just summer. Yeah, just it's summer. a preview of the 2024 yeah. Olympics. Most of the winter Olympic sports are things I can't even pronounce. Right. Now, I'm uh-huh. trying to think in the brain of this article. because I have mine, but like, I don't know if there'd be a ton of similarities. And people love this. Show me swimming. It's got to be on the board, right? That is our number three answer, okay. aquatic. So I'm going to be pretty gener- like generous because yes. they grouped aquatics. them together. together. So <laughs> aquatics is our number word. three I've answer. Never, I've never heard anyone say that. You know what? I love watching aquatics. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get know away why. Watching at water. <laughs> get away from me, weirdo. I will start in tight and narrow out. I, I guess I'll say 100-meter sprint and go track if they want that. They titled it Athletics. I titled it, basically, in my head, Track athletics. and Field. Athletics? Which means nothing to me. Because it's all athletics. But they cited running as the main, the main sport to watch. The 100-meter dash. So, good job, okay. Jake. I'm going to go. Just get this, too. Basketball. That is incorrect. Mm. Yes. Is gymnastics summer? Gymnastics is summer. Is that your yeah. guess? Yes. That is our number four wow. answer, gymnastics. Now, I love watching See, gymnastics. I had yes. to get in the brain of the words. Yeah. Once you're there. I mean, this feels like another horrible guess. I'm going to do a volleyball? I love that is volleyball. incorrect. Showing my <laughs> list more. Listen, even though it's shown to not work, I'm going to play my game and say football or soccer. That is incorrect. They do that that's crazy. Mm-hmm. They do. I think it's a big right. thing. Yeah. I mean, what's between athletics and aquatics? It's got to be something freaky. I mean, athletics and aquatics describes the whole Olympics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally <laughs> Athletics <laughs> kind of sums up everything. I have two strikes, so I don't want to throw out a bad guess. But I'm going to go. It feels like a bad guess. The way you deliver that, it feels like a bad guess. I'm gonna, all right. I'm going to go. With the utmost confidence, I'm going based on wordage. Show me equine play. Equine. It, 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 equine. Like horse horses. riding? Horses, but they just got a weird word. And it's like equine. Isn't it equestrian? Equestrian. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm playing the word game. Equine play. <laughs> equine play. That was, <laughs> that was That's perverted. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I feel like I got to cut that. <laughs> horse jumping. Yes, I went to the Olympics <laughs> and I watched the equine play. <laughs> I'm pretty lost at this point. I'm trying to think of like a fun Olympic sports. Archery. Incorrect. Mm. Yes. I was playing the words. <laughs> Arrow play. And d- athletics took all the events. <laughs> yeah, there's not much left. <laughs> like, I want to say, like, I don't, I don't know, know if that's number one either. Discus. But that, I don't know. I think that's athletics. Uh, show me. Sh- sh- I can't even name a sport. <laughs> Golf. Not in the Olympics. Incorrect. So, now our number five answer feels like it's going to. Doesn't really wait, make wait, a ton of I sense. Have, are you strong? Yeah, no, no. yeah you're, you're both strong. Skunked. I have some guesses. Sure. Ping pong? There. Incorrect. Um, triathlon. Incorrect. Well, Any other guesses? I think that's all. <laughs> Trampoline. That's new. That's gymnastics. All right. So, this makes no Let's sense because okay. number five is surfing. No. Yeah, I don't think that's a sport. It technically is, okay. but it's also aquatic. There's surfing in Paris? I guess so. Number two? Cycling. I almost threw out a cycling. Cycling's a valid okay. one. Okay. I'm not really sure about surfing. So I mean, this everyone list- go to talksports.com and comment on their article. Cycling's something about also, surfing. Though, like- this is a list of people who like don't like sports. <laughs> <laughs> this person might have been he might have just been working his day job and they yeah. say write an article about the Olympics and he just said athletics. Yeah. Running, biking, swimming. Any team sport, this person is out. <laughs> <Yeah. on. laughs> he hates team sports. Now we got one more question. This is a baseball question and All this right. is my hardest baseball question. There are a ton of bonus points available in this round. Can you name the five longest hitting streaks? Since 2000. And I will reward a bonus question if you can name the amount of games the hitting streak lasted. Mm. A bonus point. I apologize. So this is, there's a lot of points available here, but it's one of the hardest questions I've ever come up with. So I figured the people at home, get your brains racking on this one. This is you? This is gnarly. Yeah, I think this is me, right? Yeah. I believe I so. so. I've got two Yankees that had good hitting streaks. 
Derek Jeter, 28. That is incorrect. Jackie Bradley Jr., 26. That is incorrect. Now, my hint here okay. is that 28 is not enough to make it on the board. Wow. One of them has occurred as recently as 2018. Okay. The guy who got a lot of hits, I'll say Ichiro Suzuki. That is incorrect, but he was floating around this list a lot. They're called the Versa? Is that an option? Mm. Yeah. I mean, after this X, if you guys want to phone a friend, I'll allow it. I don't even know the strategy here. Just go to people who hit a lot. I mean, I went to the guy that I thought hit the <laughs> yeah. most. Yeah. I mean, you're both your guesses were guys who hit a lot. Paul Goldschmidt? That is incorrect. Mm. Okay, so here is my next hint for you. I'm actually going to give you a very specific hint. Contact, guys. The top four... All are from the NL East. And how can I word this hint without giving Jake the answer? Maybe leave it there for now. I mean, that's a pretty good hint. Okay. Yeah, and the then top... after I guess, you can give a follow-up hint. Well, then you'd be out because you have two X's. So I'm going to give you the follow-up hint. Fuck. The top three of them all occurred before 2010. So these are olds. Older fellas. We've got some olds. So NL East prior to 2010. I think that's a good hint. I wasn't watching a ton of NL East baseball in 06. <laughs> I mean, I've got names of good hitters from the NL East. Both in 02 counts quick. I'm going to try to Hall of Fame it. I'm going to guess Chipper Jones. That is incorrect, oh, but a fantastic guess. I mean, you got to have banged okay, out a here's the If you can pull this out, Jack, you could win the game. You just need to get two correct. I'm going to even be one and two. I'm going to be one last mini lifeline for you. Okay. And I'm j- I'm gonna say some names. I have no fucking clue. right, right. And if something hits a chord for you, so I was thinking- Phillies had like Utley and Rollins. They were both good. Oh, Mets had Jose Reyes. Like he's kind of hits him. guy. Other than that, I don't have much spinning. <laughs> I like. I feel like Utley and Rollins. One of them's got to be on the list. And I'm leaning Rollins. I'm talking like it's one of them has to be right. Right. Which it could... Could not. Uh, I'm trying to think also, like, is there MLB The Show cards for hit streaks? Ooh. Okay, that would that's help. A, that's a creative way to say it. I'd be like, maybe... That would the, help. I haven't really played the game a lot. <laughs> also, hint is... No is. This is for the number five answer. It occur- occurred over the course of the end of a season into another season, so it wasn't even like... Mm. I don't know if that's as cool. Continuation. What if yeah. you just tell me the number five answer? I mean, I think you should guess. Trust your gut. Oh, so he likes... He likes... It's Rollins it's race. It's gotta be race. It's race. That is in. It's Rollins. Correct. Jimmy mm. Rollins was our number one answer, <laughs> and Chase Utley was our number three answer. Jimmy Rollins has the longest hit streak since 2000 <laughs> at 38 games. Number two is Luis Castillo of the Florida Marlins in 2002 with 35 games. Chase Utley is our number three answer in 2006 with 35 games. Dan Ugla. Of the Atlanta Braves in 33 games in 2011. And Whit Merrifield of the Kansas City Royals, of course, between 2018 and 2019, had 31 game hit streak. I really wish he didn't pick the one of the three names that was wrong. (laughs) You had the exact thought process right. This is insane. You went to MLB the show. You said Jimmy Rollins. (laughs) I really wish you said Jimmy Rollins. You said trust your gut, and Reyes was the first thing I said. If you. I if was he, trying to get you to say Jimmy Rollins. If he got Rollins and Utley, you would given that me, have won? Yeah. Yes. You would have <laughs> given me the two winning answers. Jack would have so Jack would have walked, but actually I wouldn't have won. You would have. No, won. technically it would have tied the game. Oh my goodness. That might be the most crushing defeat ever in a feud. But yes. you still would have you kind of won either way. It would have been half polluted. Yeah. But it would have been interesting. Insane. What a Jimmy. game. Congratulations, Jake, on a victory. I saw Jack had this one in the bag, but Jake was oh. able to pull it off Late. at the end. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back with another feud next time. The Olympics sealed my fate. That was tough. <laughs>